So today we are building a simple mold and we are going to cast some metal. We're going to pour some molten metal into our mold. So right now we are making the clay mold. Um, we are using a little pendulum type thing for the uh, the actual thing that we're molding and right now we are cutting up the clay and that is the end of the pendulum sticking out of the clay so we're just cutting off the excess clay at the very end and then we are pulling it out and there you can see the top the body of the mold alright so here we are creating a uh, top for the mold so it will be easier to pour in the molten metal so he's flattening out a piece of clay and attaching it to the top Now here's the actual molten metal. We've got some weak metals that we found and we've just melted it with one of those mini torches and it's actually inside of a uh, seashell which isn't the best idea because uh, the outside of the shell starts begins to crack but it worked for this case. Now before I show you the next clip, I want to say first that we should have waited for the clay to dry before we started to pour the molten metal into the mold. But we really just didn't want to wait. So here's what happened. As you can see, once the molten metal hit the clay, um, it caused the water inside of the clay to steam up, causing all that um, movement in the metal, which in return will cause deformities. Alright, it's going to be hot, but we can crack it open. So there you have it, that's our very low budget casted metal object. Uh, so thanks for watching everyone, I hope you enjoyed it.